Yo, good morning. What is it all? Just want to welcome you back to this So Thankful Thursday, you dig? Just want to come on and tell you what I'm so thankful about on this Thursday. You feel me? But before we get into that, please like this video. Share this video on all your platforms. Remember to hit that like button and please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, now let's get off into the topic. Ever find yourself in a situation to where, you know, you didn't know how you got there once you got in it? <laughs> you know, it was feeling good at the time, right? Or everything seemed to be going cool and it was, and it seemed to be good, right? And 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 you going along with the flow you're not really tripping and then next thing you know you look around and say oh my god how did i get here right you knew it was a temptation you knew it was something that you desired you you, you dreamed about it you fantasized about it you talked about if you know if this happened how you would handle the situation or this went down what you would do and then when a situation happened it may be similar, it may be, you know, maybe not, it may not be exactly the way you thought or imagined it would go down, but yo, it went down. And so how did you respond? Did you give in to that situation? Did you not know how to handle it and then let it get out of control, right? Or was it a situation that you were able to walk away from? It was getting too hot and too heavy. You know what I'm saying? It was getting too thick. And and you was able to walk away from that situation and say, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's what I want and it's what I dreamed of, what I talked about. But uh, I'm just, it's just something that ain't feeling right. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to break out. I get with you. How many of us do that? Most of the time, we don't do that, and then when we do do it, it's either too late or things have gone too far, you know what I'm saying? Instead of recognizing that this is a temptation, this is a situation that I have dreamed of, or I have seen myself in, or doing, or being involved in, or caught up in, or whatever the case is, right? But how do you get out of that temptation? It's a very tempting situation. Whether it's dealing with money, whether it's dealing with uh, an, an individual, whether it's dealing with yourself, you know what I'm saying? But you're in a tempting situation. And it may not be tempting in a good way, right? So how do you handle those situations? Do you just go along with the flow? Or do you say, you know what? No, I, I'm wise enough to know I don't want to go down that route. Yeah, it, it, it feel good, it look good, it seem like it could really be great, but just something about it, nah, I'm cool. So, when we find ourselves in those tempting situations, how do we respond? Do we go with the flow? Do we speak up and speak out? Do we just back off and fade into the black and be like, nah, I'm good? How do you handle the situations? Because see, the misconception is this. People think that when they get into a rough situation, a rough patch or something that just seems like they can't get themselves out of, that God is just gonna come to their rescue and help them out. Ha <laughs> ha, wrong. See, that's part of the deception right there. Folks is thinking that when they get in a situation out here, that God is going to come to their rescue and make a way of escape. Yo, check it out. That is only for those that believe, for those that are saved, are called, and love God according to his purposes. He'll make a way of escape for his own, not for everybody. Let's get that out of the way right now, okay? So if you're not saved, then that does not apply to you. That way of escape does not apply to you. But for those that love him, he said he'd make a way of escape. That applies to you. Are you taking that way of escape? When situations come up and circumstances happen on, on the moment, at the fly, you know what I'm saying? 
Are you looking for a way of escape when you know it's a temptation? Oh God! Oh please, Lord! I okay. I need. I need to get out of here. I need, Lord, make a way. That's for us, and He will do that. But are you looking for it? As my friend would say, are you actively? <laughs> Are you participating? Are you looking for the escape? Are you looking for the exit? Because God is never going to allow us to be tempted in a situation and not also have a way of escape. Hear what I said. God is never going to allow us to be tempted above, right? What we're able to handle. Why? Because with the temptation he never said he was going to take the temptation away this is where we get off in our prayers and our prayers don't get answered because we're praying amiss we be praying ask god take the temptation away take the temptation away that's not in his word he never said he was going to take the temptation away he said along with the temptation he will make an escape right so that means that you got a choice and i got a choice we got a choice we don't have to be tempted above more than what we're able to stand, what we're able to bear, what we can handle. You dig? And God knows if we can handle it or not. And if we can't handle it, guess what? Along with that door of temptation that's right there, God is also going to make a door of escape for you. You have to choose what you're going to do. Whether you're going to take the way of escape that God provided. Thank you, Jesus. I can live again, right? With you and my relationship doesn't have to suffer. Or I'm going to go ahead and, and go over here because this, man, this looks good. It's, it's nice and it, 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 could, it could solve a lot of problems. It could do a lot. He makes the way. We have to choose to take it. Most of the time, we don't take it. We don't. I'm going to keep it 100, man. Most of the time, we don't want to walk through that door of escape. Oh, that right there. Oh, that's on point right there. That's on point. We want to go through that door of temptation. And then after we get our butts fried and we're in trouble, we crying out to God, oh, boo, who woes me, God? Why, you know, God, why you didn't help me? God, why you didn't do this? God, why, 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 why? And the Lord said, but I made a way for you. You chose not to take it. Now you want to blame me and say it's my fault. We do that to God all the time, right? He's, it's true. He says, I'm going to be faithful, right? When you find yourselves in a sticky situation, okay, I'm God. I'm going to be faithful. I'm never going to be unfaithful. I'm going to be true to my word. So when you ask me to help you because you found yourself in this situation, I'm going to help you because you're my child. You're mine. I love you, right? I'm going to help you. But you got to make the choice. I'm not going to choose for you. I'm going to set it there for you. You choose this day whom you're going to serve. You dig? You're going to serve God or you're going to serve mammon. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to serve me or you're going to serve your flesh. But you got to make the choice. But I'm never going to leave you in a situation as my child stuck with temptation that you can't bear. When it gets to the point to where I know you can't bear it, I'm always going to provide a way of escape along with the temptation. I'm not going to just take out the temptation and be like, okay, now, now you're good. I didn't, I don't remove the temptation. Where's your growth in that? Where's your wisdom in that? If God did that for us, he'd be stifling us, but God wants us to grow. He wants us to mature. He wants us to be wise. And the only way to do that is we have to make the choice for our lives what we're going to do, right? Either we're going to follow his word or we're not. And if we choose to follow his word, he said he would never allow us whom he loves to be tempted above what we're able. But yet with the temptation, and I'm going to give you the scripture so you can check it out for yourself. But with the temptation, key. He'll make, he'll give you a way of escape. It, it's up to us to take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Yeah, that's that's right. You did, and I pray that that we're mature enough, we're wise enough in our walk to where, when we do find ourselves in those situations, and I find myself in them. Yes, I do. Okay, this is so thankful Thursday. 
right? I'm thankful that God makes a way of escape for me because sometimes I find myself in tempting situations <laughs> that I'm wise enough to be able to recognize the exit. Have I always recognized the exit? No, man, I didn't been in so much trouble. <laughs> I didn't got myself hemmed up so many times. I, I have lost so much from not recognizing the exits along with the temptation. But because I wasn't recognizing, I failed. Can't blame God, right? Many of us want to blame God and say, God, why did you allow this to happen to me? No, it's your choice. Remember, he's given us free will. We can choose to serve him. We can choose to have a relationship with him. We can choose not. We can choose to ignore him and believe there ain't no God. We can choose to accept his help when he makes an escape when we're in a tempting situation or we can choose to ignore the signs and just keep doing what feels good and what we want to do and deal with the consequences afterwards but i choose to show my gratitude on this so thankful thursday and tell god how thankful i am that he's always made a way of escape now i haven't always taken it but at least i can recognize that he's always had a way of escape since i since i accepted him in my, in, in my life you dig so I just got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I haven't always been successful at the great escapes. But yo, check it out. He's always provided one when things got too hot and too heavy. Have you used your escape? Have you recognized when he's giving you a way of escape, an exit out of the situation? Wait, say what? Yo, my prayer today on this So Thankful Thursday is that God opens our eyes and we realize that when he's making an exit for us and that when we should take that exit when it appears because most of the time it's no need to take the exit unless God shows you there is one if he's showing you the exit then more than likely that means you need to take that booger you dig this is your man, Levon. Just going to come on real quick on this So Thankful Thursday, man, and give y'all this short word and bless y'all. Listen, this is the scripture on today. Okay, it says here in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter and the 13th verse, and it reads as follows. There hath no temptation taken you, but such is as common to man. There's no temptation that has came in and taken you by force. Every temptation that we have succumbed to has been because we have chosen to succumb to it. At some point, we chose to succumb to it. I know there's some people that, you know, deal with some things that they just can't seem to help. You know, drug addictions and all other kind of addictions. And but check this out. Before that drug addiction became a drug addiction, okay, you entertained the temptation. You engaged in it. You allowed it. Okay, so let's go on. It says, but God is faithful. And yes, he is to the end. God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you're able. He's not going to sit around and just watch you going through and watch you suffering and watch you deal with these temptations without making some kind of provision for you. Right. He's not going to allow you to. To, to go through these things above what you're able to stand. See, what we need to realize is as Christians, we really do have broad shoulders. In Christ, we have broad shoulders. We're able to bear more than we think we are, right? We're able to stand more than we think we can. But God says that, one, I want you to know I'm faithful, okay? I'm not gonna abandon you, I'm faithful. And two, I'm not going to let you suffer more than what you're able to bear, more than what your shoulders can carry, more than what you're able to stand, right? I'm not going to let you bear more or above what you can take. You dig? And he says, but with will with the temptation. That's the key in this whole 13th verse. But will with the temptation. See, a lot of times we think that God is going to take away the situation, right? Or he's going to take us out of the situation. But no, that's not what his word says. We need to realize what God's word says. 
it says, but will, right? He will with the temptation. He will with whatever it is that you're you're being tempted by and struggling with and going through. He's not going to take that away. He's not going to take you out of it. But along with the temptation, he will make a way of escape. That's your door. That's your opportunity. When situations arise and you know you can't handle it, it's, it's too much, and you feel uneasy, and you feel like you ain't the, you know, yeah, it look good, and it sounds good, and it tastes good. It even may even feel good, but you know deep in your heart, it ain't cool. That is your way of escape. Okay? But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you're able. But with the temptation, will also make a way to escape that ye will be able to bear it. I don't know how much more simple man the word can be. God wants us to be victorious. He wants us to be successful. And even when we make the mistakes of following temptation, getting distracted by temptation, he says, I love you so much and I'm so faithful that I'm not going to let you suffer more than you can bear. I'm not going to sit back with my hands crossed and be like, yeah, look at that dude. <laughs> yeah, look at that sis. Wow, they really going through it. No, that's not what God going to do. God going to say, yo, okay, I see that's not going to be good. So I'm going to go ahead and make a way of escape for you. I ain't going to make you take it. I ain't going to fall. I'm just going to put it out there because I love you. So you got to make the choice. You choose. Either you're going to take the way of escape and live or you're going to keep doing what you're doing and die. It's your choice. It's my choice. We have to choose who we're going to serve and who we're going to believe. Right? Are we going to say no to temptation and yes to God and yes to his way of escape? Or are we just going to ignore it and keep rolling? Know all the danger signs, knowing all the disclaimers that are being posted. But we see all that, but we don't see the way of escape. <laughs> you dig? So, yo, Again, be blessed on this So Thankful Thursday. Just want to give you the scripture real quick, and I wanted to read it to you. Go back and read it for yourself. But the key, he says, along with, along with, not in spite of, not besides, not oh, I'll take that away or I'll take you away. No, along with the temptation, he'll make a way of escape. Be blessed today. One love. Remember, this is your... Your man, LaVon, this is LaVon Says on this channel. We strive to love you, uplift you, motivate you, inspire you, learn, laugh with you, encourage you, and enlighten you. You dig? LaMelaE.com. Go on the website. Get your merch. You dig? I'll see you in the next video.